Hey, I'm Matt Pinville. Welcome to 120 Minutes. Tonight on the show, my special guests will be Faith No More and MXPX. Full of brand new videos from the Charlatans UK, Our Lady Peace, the Danny Warhols, Arcana. At the close of the show, we'll take a look back at the Sisters of Mercy. We're still with us, though, but to get things started tonight, we have a 120 minutes debut from 311. The forthcoming album is called Transistor. It hits stores on August 5th. The first video from it was co-directed by Dante Ariola and Jay Popke, who also worked on the band's All Mixed Up and Homebrew videos. So let's take a look at it right now. 311 with the title track, The Transistor, on 120 minutes tonight. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, and joining me now are Mike and Billy of Faith No More. That one you saw a little bit of from King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime. Great album title, by the way. I've got to mention that. And the new album title, too, Album of the Year. That way, every time everybody talks about it, you know? Well, we like the titles, you know? The music comes secondary. <laughs> of course, yeah. right? It's concept, really, that <laughs> yeah. matters. Now, tell me a bit about, uh, I mean, it's been a while since the last record, and there were a lot of rumors about the band breaking up. Was it ever close to actually happening? Uh, yeah, but no more than usual. Yeah, right. For us, there's yeah. always been those rumors, and we've never uh, bothered to hide the fact that we uh, have troubles. Yeah. We've been a band for 15 years. It can't all be roses. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, you guys have been through a lot over all that, that period of time. I think, too, that when we, when we had troubles before, we also did a lot of press and interviews, and this past couple of years, we kind of stayed out of that. So there's nothing, when, when there's a rumor that we've broken up, we weren't there to say, no, that's not true. Um, which was good for us because that means when I woke up in the morning, go get a cup of coffee and go to rehearsal and didn't have to worry about things like that. But on the other hand, everybody else thinks because we don't respond that, you know, that's the end of the band. So, All right, well, definitely. So it works. Not. And we're going to check out your latest video right now from the album, Album of the Year. Here's Faith No More with Last Cup of Sorrow in 120 Minutes. Hey, it's Matt Pinfield here, 120 Minutes, and I'm talking with Mike and Billy from Faith No More. Now, uh, that video we saw a little while ago, Last Cup of Sorrow, it's a great clip, and uh, it's based on the Hitchcock movie Vertigo, correct? That is correct. Are you big fans of Hitchcock's work? Uh, yeah, yeah. He has some great stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, can't you get Jennifer Jason Lee to be in, in the video? Is she a friend, or was it? how did that work out, Billy? She's really, we didn't know her at all. <laughs> we just heard that she was, she wanted to do it, and which took me totally by surprise. Yeah, I don't know why. And uh, Honestly. Yeah. we didn't really meet her until the day of the shoot. And she was really, you know, she was pretty cool. I mean, I, I still can't figure out why she wanted to do it, but I'm glad she did because she looks great in the video. Very yeah. professional. Was that, was the concept of, of it, was that your own? Was that the band's? No, it was the director's. Really? Okay. Uh, the way it works, you probably know this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you say, we want to make a video. Yeah. And they say, uh, okay, we'll submit it to these different directors, and they send you these treatments, which are terrible, embarrassing pieces of paper <laughs> with, <laughs> with, with your life described on them, and you have to choose one of them, yeah. and it's very hard to do so, because even the best of ideas looks terrible on that piece of paper. Right, especially because the songs are coming from a different area, and it's like to have it interpreted sometimes. It's, it's yeah, it's somebody else's really idea, and also they're trying to get the job, and so they say words that make you cringe because it's your music. <laughs> but we, we picked this one like, because we it seemed like the yeah. best of, of the lot. And uh, it turned out that when we met the director, he was awesome. And we clicked, and our ideas and his ideas were really similar. And so we had a really good time making the video. Yeah, that's the same kind of sense of humor, I think. Yeah, it came out very well. We'll be back with Faith No More in just a bit. Till then, let's check out the top 10 singles on alternative music around the country this week. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, and I'm here with Faith No More, and two of the guys from Faith No More, of course, Billy and Mike. Billy, you actually co-produced this album with Raleigh Mossman, who uh, yeah, has done some great, really stark work. He's got like some great, you know, depth in some of the things he worked with, yeah. the, the Young Gods. He does have a lot of depth, yeah. yeah. 
which is uh, one reason why we like him. And the other mm. reason is because he's, well, he his the way he works is different than the way we work. We've always been the like taking the rock band approach of two inch tape machine, record all the tracks, mix them, and he is also used to doing things on computer, which is something we hadn't done. Editing. But we like that. we liked his sound of the records he'd worked with before, so we knew that we could share a, a sonic or a musical vision together, and he'd have a different way of going about getting it. So it was interesting for us, and it, it probably was really successful in that it probably added a new dimension to the band that was already there that we couldn't get out in the traditional way. Yeah, well, I mean, the record, it came out real good. How do you feel about people calling it somewhat of a comeback album of sorts? Does that make any sense? It doesn't feel like one, Call right? it whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, some of the critics have been saying that. They really love the record. Well, if they're going to say that, that's a good thing to say. Fine. All right, yeah. exactly. It's better than a going out album. <laughs> like, we'll be talking more with Faith No More in a few minutes. But right now, it's the latest from Sugar Ray, the first video from their new album, Floored. It's called Fly. And if you look closely, you'll see the band's real moms at the end of it. So let's check it out. Sugar Ray, 120 minutes. Tonight. From the Brown album, that was Primus with Shake Hands with Beef. I'm 120 minutes. I'm still here with Mike and Billy from Faith No More. We love that title, don't we? He's done some great clips, too. Um, let's talk about uh, your new guitarist, John Hudson. He's been a friend of yours for a long time, right, Billy? Yeah. He's in Systems Collapse. And yeah, talk exactly. Talk to me about how he ended up coming to uh, replace Dean. Well, it was really funny because... With Dean, we, were, we had some problems with writing together, which was kind of a drag because he was a friend of ours and we didn't really know what was going on. And We still were working on songs, so I knew John. I knew he was a really good guitar player. I'd known him for years, and I was just saying, why don't you come over and try working on the song and we can keep going. And it might, you know, he wasn't doing anything at the time and you know, figured we'd work something out. And He worked it out and it sounded pretty good, and I was kind of hesitant to say, okay, let's work with John because he's a friend of mine. And, We've been through a couple of guitar players already, you know. And Too many friends You, you don't want to think, you know. You don't want to yeah. get your hopes up again and think that maybe it's not going to work. So we worked a little more and worked a little more. And he came over and he brought some stuff that he'd been working on, some music that we all like just liked immediately. And it fit with exactly what we were doing. And it just kind of became obvious that he probably should be working with us. And so it, it came a little slowly, but we feel pretty good about it. Yeah. It makes, I mean, it adds to the sound of this record. I think he does it really well. He does. He does really good. You know, without a question. We've got lots more to talk about with Mike and Billy after the break, and later on the guys from MXPX will be here, so don't go anywhere. us back to the real thing right there yeah. for that one. Was it done in Vegas or something like that? I had no. I don't, we didn't have that much taste to go and do it in Vegas. I think those were cheesy sets. No, it was, it was cool though. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm here with Billy and Mike still. Now you guys have always done, um, you know, side work too. You've got, you've got other ways of expressing yourselves. Mr. Bungle, of course, which uh, you put out good records with. You recently produced a band from Russia. Is that yeah, true, that's right, actually. A band called Naive, which is, they're a really big band in Russia. They they're like the Green Day of Russia, but they really haven't crossed over outside of the uh, Red Day. old Soviet bloc yet. But they're, it was a, we made a really, really good record. It, the recording studio is a little rough out there, but uh, we, it, it ended up being really cool. Yeah. Well, will you continue doing Mr. Brungle stuff? Yeah. It's all stuff over the years? Yeah. Because you definitely have an audience for that as well. Yeah, for a Somewhere, long yeah. We're going to make another <laughs> record. And uh, what about Roddy and Imperial Teen? He's recording with them now, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. Probably yeah. as we speak. Yeah, I see. I mean, this probably, I mean, will come out after this record. You know, we do our tour. We're going to tour for a while. So it's kind of like in the meantime, then we'll have something else that we can be keeping ourselves busy with. You know, people always, I've gotten some letters. People always wanted me to ask, and I'm sure you've mentioned it before, but not since I've been doing the show, how you guys came to cover the Commodore's Easy. Wasn't it something you were doing live for fun on stage? Yeah. 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 But the idea, I think, came across like in a bar when they, played that song and I think that the light bulb went off in our heads at the same time like this song has got to be covered and you do it really straight I mean it's straight as the Congress yeah. version well it's really the only way we should be doing it because it's a great song and yeah. at the time I think when we decided to do it we were going through a time where a lot of people were 
giving us feedback that we were a heavy metal band. You right. know, we, those were the kind of kids that were coming to they see us. Those were the band. bands we were playing with, yeah. and we were playing this Black Sabbath cover, which yeah. actually started out as a joke. Yeah. But uh, we thought we could have some better ammunition. Yeah, the joke kind of lost them. its magic, so we created a new kind of joke that was the yeah. same. Right. And then we came known as it for doing easy, which is really funny, you know? Yeah, right. So, <laughs> what it's the hell, amazing. you know? Yeah, it's one of those historic things. Where can you go from there, though? That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. we can't win after yeah. that. <laughs> no, yeah. no. no, the rec new record's really cool, and people should definitely pick it up. It's called Album of the Year, as well as the earlier material, We Care A Lot, of course, which is at, on the indie label. Introduce Yourself, which was the last album with Chuck, The Real Thing, Live from the Brixton Academy, Angel Dust, King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime. And right now, we're going to go back and check out... Uh, from the uh, debut album, actually, or this video might have actually been the version from Introduce Yourself. Oh, wow. Going back with Chuck, we'll see. Uh, we care a lot. And, uh, 120 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it's cool with you, Mike. Is that hey, right? You have my permission. Okay, very cool. Thanks again, guys, for coming all right, by. Thanks. All right, good to have you. Cool.